Hello everyone, and welcome back to Park Architect. Alright, so we were looking at our decor at the end of the last episode, our decor rating, and it seems like custom buildings are how you make your decor better, because look at where our decor is at its highest. Here, and then here, and then nowhere else. Oh, and, and here. So, it seems like custom buildings are the way to go. But for a lot of rides, I feel like they make no sense. But for some rides, they could, like the teacups. Why not let it have a custom building? We're just going to start with the teacups, because it's going to be an easy one. So let's go here, and let's go to structures. And we need to think, too, about like putting in things that we like. So, you know, there should be an archway in. Um, you can put in a hedge archway now. Like, is that a good thing? I mean, it doesn't seem like a bad thing. So let's see. Um, so, borders. Details. So like, we can put in fences that would match this so we could make it like garden themed but I'm not sure this is like the weight up our decor because it's not a building so much as it is just uh, an enclosure you can't see this ride oh we don't want to like obviously enclose the exit we don't want that we want another archway for the uh to exit. I do like how you can place things like very accurately. But like I don't know if that's gonna have done anything. It did a little I think. Like I think that's a, a very 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 light green. <laughs> very light. Not even this color but I think it's changed a tiny bit. So like what if we what if we like argue what if we tried? Okay, hold up. Hold up. Wasn't under details, it was under fences. What if we need like a tall fence? So like it has like a barrier, but we can we can like lift it, right? So maybe not with fences. Maybe you can't stack fences on fences. Cause like with walls, I feel like you can. Right? Like you can. So like what if we just like put these up? Like over our, uh, my thing. Does that help? Maybe, yeah, a little. Not a lot, but like a, a tiny bit. You can also have like pillars. So, like, if you wanted to put like pillars up. So I think we've just been ignoring like an awful lot of, you know, things that, that we shouldn't have been ignoring. I mean, that's really it. We're, we've been ignoring all of these amazing um, decor pieces that we could be using. It's like... And I think I saw in another person's playthrough that you can, like, override... Yeah, you can, like, override the fences that are, like, just in the game for, like, your... Um, like, your cues and stuff with these. Like, it just replaces them. Which is really cool and allows you to kind of theme your park, like, even more so. I don't know if it helps with decor. Like, I don't know, maybe a teeny bit... Like, like we put lanterns up there in between the pillars things like that it's all little things 
that I think are going to help with the decor. Um, why are we out of stock? Like, we could arguably make, like, an indoor queue. And people would, would, I think, would like that because then they don't have to worry about the rain while they're just, like, standing in line, you know? So, like, we can just do this. We could just make a little building. And, like, why wouldn't we we do that. Now we might want to work with like colors and stuff. Um, can we turn this? Cause like we arguably don't need it to, you know, follow the queue around. Like the queue can just be inside. And then we can have like a second archway. But like this seems good. Maybe maybe this is what we need to like finally increase that uh decor rating. Like can we get stuff on the walls? Like this seems weird. I don't know why we'd want that. But like we could just probably put a roof on this. But I don't like the peaked ones. I never know how they're supposed to look. We could just put in like a glass roof. So like you can still see in from like the coaster and stuff. And you can see out, you can see the sun or the rain, whatever it might be. Okay, effectiveness 96%, that seems pretty good for our, uh... Okay, but this doesn't really get us any decor. And like clearly this is more done up and I don't know, maybe that's not helping at all, but like I'm a little confused as to why that wasn't it. I feel like it should have been. But like at the very least I'm assuming now like rain protection over here is like great. Like you want more rain protection throughout like lots of pieces of your park, I think. Since it rains a lot here. <laughs> in this here park. Look at this double ferris wheel. I guess it's calm-ish, but it's definitely better than the regular ferris wheel. What are people thinking about it? It's taking forever. Can we change that? We could lower the number of rounds to one. So it'll take not as long to get through. But we can't make it spin any faster, unfortunately. So that wasn't it on the decor. I really thought I had it. I mean, we were just like, oh, it's better over here. Like, I guess the storefronts are making it good. I feel like we have a little bit tinge over here, maybe. But I don't know, it seems like the storefronts are really what, what's doing it. For everybody, wow, this, this guy got really popular. People are enjoying it. Which is good, they should be enjoying it. I want them to enjoy it. So more people have rain protection now, but there's not a lot of people in line for this. But no one's complaining about the price. 
At least not yet. Like, things that don't have a lot of people in line, we should be checking out to see if the reason that no one's riding them is due to the price. Or if it's just because it isn't for them, you know? So it's fine if it just isn't for them. Where are my haulers? Why are these things out? Delivering sugar to hot drinks, which has to be one of these. Delivering buns to hot dogs, too tired to work. So let's just go around and see. So, like, this guy doesn't have too many people in mind. But people are just saying they want more intense things. Now, the car ride also doesn't have too many people in line. But people think it's a good deal still, so... I mean, I don't want to ruin that if it's a good deal. It's a good deal. So it seems like our rides are doing alright. What are our mechanics up to? Repairing Ferris wheel, wandering around, wandering around, headed for staff room, repairing stand-up coaster, but too tired to work. So we get a lot of those where it says they're doing something, but they're too tired to work. So does that mean like they got too tired during this most recent thing, and now they're like, after this I need to go to a staff room, of which there's one right here. Um, Granted, I have no idea if they can access this without going through the underground route, so I don't know if that's any of any use. But if there's already there, then I imagine it's good. So, but people seem to be enjoying our rides. This one doesn't have a big queue, but it's a long line. It's kind of like Space Mountain at uh, Disneyland, if you've ever been on that. Where it's just a really long line, so if it's not super backed up, which oftentimes it arguably is, then you can just kind of, you'll walk for a while, but then it's like, oh, well, there's not that much line. It just takes forever to get there. And there's tons of people who are interested in it, but they're not there. Um, oh, Spiral Slide has been obtained. I guess we're doing one more column ride. I, I totally missed the announcement on it. They've made the Spiral Slide much bigger. So I guess that's something. But where do we want to put it? Stop. We don't want to put it anywhere where they can see a bunch of maintenance stuff. Like, it could be the start of our, like, expansion to the back. Why not? Because we need to use as much of this park as we can. Granted, it's not as dire as I thought, like, ever- it described this park as small, and I think it's more of like a medium-sized park- oh no, okay. So we're just gonna have to do that. Didn't realize that wasn't gonna work, but it won't, so we'll just deal, and then we get a square of pavement, which I'm not a big fan of, but there are worse things in the world, so- um, we need trash bins. We've been adding trash bins everywhere, because we are good park owners. We have not been adding benches, because on that front we are bad park owners. And we don't care about the comfort of our people. Which, I mean, isn't true. We care. I didn't open the slide, did I? Pretty sure I didn't. A group of vandals is roaming the park. Sorry guys, here. Come on to spiral slide. So how many security people do I have? I have more than I thought. Um, catching vandal. Tower drop tower is broken. Oh look, he's running. Look at him go. We haven't actually done this. Like, watch this. I'm interested. Did he lose him? He's just waltzing into the ride's queue. He's wandering around now. Alright, let's see what people are thinking. I can't afford Spiral Slide. It's gonna be difficult for you to afford just about anything in the park then. 
Um, okay, I didn't really want to follow him around, like, forever. So I'm okay with not following him around anymore. But we need more security than I thought. It always recommends more. And I'm like, maybe that's just not the best, like, first thing. If you, like, give the security you currently have a chance. They haven't even had a chance to catch them yet. Once again, I feel like we just need more janitors. I don't like that we need so many janitors. People in this park need to stop throwing up. Seriously, when I said stop puking, I meant it. Um, 4D cinema went viral. We'll have increased people for a time. There's still not that many people lined up for it, but I guess it is more than before. So it's no longer saying that safety will suffer, but our safety still feels like it's suffering. To me, anyway. Just saying, that's how it feels. Our overall is now at 86. Cause yay. Our decoration's like really high. People like how much decor we've got. Um, people are hungry and tired and they're upset cause my park is a mess. But, like, we're getting there. We'll get to that 90%. We've actually got quite a bit of money. We could work on another coaster. Maybe we could do a blueprint one this time. Rather than making me build it. Because I feel like I waste, like, so much space. Because I like the underground and the popping up. and the... It's just fun. But, you know, sometimes there are people who do this for a living. And we should just listen to their thoughts. So we have bobs and bits. We did that. And we would want this to be built without scenery. Like, I'm assuming there's none, yeah, where we have, like, all the scenery. It's like, what if we spun it around and... This is, like, a double whammy coaster. Like, it's got two going at the same time. Oh wow, and the entrance and exits are in weird spots. So like, why can't we just put it here? What if I lifted it? So it just can't go there, huh? How far back do we need to take it? I'm doing it. We had all the money and so why not? That's my whole argument. That's all I got. Just gonna... Boop. Because why should they exit at the same spot? That's silly. I'm assuming we've got synchronized uh, tracks for these guys yeah it certainly looks like we do so let's go ahead and start it up I don't think this guy's supposed to be up here but he is oh my goodness he goes like straight down I was like, it doesn't look like it's gonna make it, and it better, because this was a blueprint. So we've got our twin monsters over here. So we could up its decor, probably, with some stuff. What if we put, like, jumping fountains in, like, the center of it? They're kind of small. I guess you wouldn't really notice them that much on a big roller coaster like that. I want to put the whale, but you need water. Oh, no, you don't. It's like gonna let us put a whale in the middle of the roller coaster. What if we just put like a couple of whales? Like the whole thing is like you're with a pod of whales. And they're all just like swimming. 
They're land whales, clearly. But, like, they're just, like, swimming away. People just go walk through his tail. It's fine. But, like, stuff like this doesn't have decor, and I'm always just, like, really surprised. Like, we put whales in for you. Whales! Um, it's like, what's... It's... Like, now its decoration is low. Because I put in, like, six whales. Hopefully people are enjoying it. Oh, we never opened the second one. You had to open them separately. Silly me. It's supposed to be a synchronized coaster, and look at this. I mean, I guess we did get two coasters for the price of one, which is pretty awesome. And you get to swim with the whales, sort of. Kind of get to see of the whales. I guess we could actually try and put this over water. Um. So I think we need to first, like, terraform... Like that. Hold shift to raise water. <gasps> Just put the whole park under water. Why don't we? Oh gosh. I just want to undo that. So, like, we kind of uncovered our, uh, gotta stop doing that. I need an undo button. Like, now people can see it, and that's bad. So yeah, these are land whales. There's no water. I shouldn't be playing with the land. <laughs> Alright, what are people thinking about this? I want to go. Um, it's a really good deal. Okay, so... We're not up to 550, and we should up the first one as well, because otherwise everyone's just going to go on that one, because it's the same thing. Except you go over slightly less eaten up by land whale. Oh my goodness, me and my land whales. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Paces, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye